From sniffing out drugs to apprehending the bad guys, the canine units play an invaluable role in keeping you and me safe. Yeah, these teams are consistently training in all kinds of scenarios so that if a certain situation should arise, they are ready. Yeah, and with the ocean and all the lakes and rivers here on Delmarva, that means water training. Well, I recently got an up close and personal look at canine water training, and I even became a part of it. Officer Kevin Flower of the Ocean City Police Department and his partner Uno know firsthand the importance of being prepared for anything. A few years ago, Kevin says they were left with very few options when a violent suspect armed with a machete tried to avoid capture by jumping in the Ocean City Bay. I had to uh, swim in the water with a dog, a couple other officers, and, and the final last resort was to send the dog and apprehend the suspect that was actually still in water, still not showing his hands, and, and the dog was able to make the apprehension. It's situations like this that make training so important. Bad guys run for anything they can hide in. Water is one of them, and we're surrounded by water here on the Eastern Shore. All right, Jay, drive him a little bit. J.C. Richardson with Delmarva K-9 is working with 18 different teams from Queen Anne's County to Ocean City under the Eastern Shore Criminal Justice Academy. In Maryland, it's, you know, essentially dogs that only get deployed for really, really bad guys, especially when it comes to apprehension work. So that's what we're simulating. The dogs bail off the boat, they come up here and apprehend the bad guy with their teeth. It's an opportunity for the dogs to experience something they aren't exposed to every day. They do act differently, and that's why we do it. That's why we, we train them to make sure that they can do what they're supposed to do in the water. And that water doesn't seem to be slowing them down. For this exercise, I would be standing in as the suspect. All right, I'm a little nervous about this, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I got you, Sean, I got you. The K-9 unit for this apprehension, Corporal Chris Larmore and his dog Simon from the Worcester County Sheriff's Office. Simon is a three-year-old hey, hey, German hey. Shepherd Belgian Malinois mix from the Czech Republic. Go. Hey, hey. Yeah, go on. Hey, hey, go on. Go back, Sean. Just walk right back. Yep. Yeah. Good, good, good. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. Good, 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 good. Keep walking. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Feel show, feeling good? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's something I don't want to happen in real life. <laughs> good, 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 good. John, just slip to sleep whenever you're ready, Bubba. Just let go. Uh, that's it. I will never <laughs> commit a crime. Ever. <laughs> and while I may never commit a crime, there are people out there who do, which makes officers like Kevin Flower thankful for this training and the dog by his side. I we always ask that, what would we have done? Because that was the last resort. The, the, the suspect was, was um, swimming out into the bay. We were waiting on NRP and the Coast Guard to get there, but that takes time. These situations evolve quickly, and we really don't know. Now, even though this was important, serious training, all the teams I spoke with said they were also having a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, the heat index on that day was, was over 100 degrees, so everybody was welcoming the dip in the water. Right, right. I bet, I bet. Okay, I have so many questions. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I, okay, so when he got a hold of that arm thing, did you feel it? Did it hurt? Well, the sleeve I had on was it's so padded, and there's actually a metal bar that goes down the forearm. Mm -hmm. So I didn't actually feel the dog bite because the metal bar, you know, absorbs most of that power, but you still feel the power of the dog. Um, the dog, you know, tugging back and forth. And you know this is something that would really hurt if you didn't have that sleeve sure. on. Sure. He sees this sleeve. It's like somebody flipped a switch on that dog. It is. It's, it's really, cr it is just so impressive to see these dogs. And when they jump off the boat, they launch off. And they're, they're working. They know this is my job. This is what And I you saw when I released the sleeve, he accomplished his job. That was it. So does he see you as a threat after that? That's the whole thing I'm thinking of is how do you convince this dog, okay, we were just kidding, you know, he's really not a bad guy. Did you worry that he was going to look at you and say, hey, what are you it's, still doing here? It's funny you said that because after, um, you know, after we did the bite, I had to ride back to the dock in the boat with, with the, the dog. dog. <laughs> so I, initially I was just like, we're cool now, <laughs> just so you know. Like, I was playing a bad uh, guy. We're friends. <laughs> no, but the dog knows. Um, and every story I've done with the canine units um, around Delmarva, all the handlers say the dog knows when they're working, they're working. Right. And it is literally like, uh, like that. They the, know the they're done. 
the switches flip and they are no longer working. We were just on the boat and you just expect them to be like a normal dog. Some of the training videos I, I've seen, uh, I, I see the officers as they're working with the sleeve, mm -hmm. they're throwing the dog around, they're, they're, they're kneeing the dog and I see here a couple times they're dunking the dog yeah. underwater and there's a specific reason for that, isn't there? Yeah, well, especially with this training, dunking the dog. Um, I was talking to JC Richardson who was heading up the training. They do that on purpose because, you know, if a suspect is trying to get away and a dog's biting them, obviously they're going to try to dunk them out under the water. And you could tell the more experienced dogs, when they dunked them under, pulled them up, just held Still on. There. The younger dogs would let go. And then when they'd come up, they would, you know, bite again. And so that's what they were trying to get the younger dogs to do is just hold on through the whole process. Right. Um, uh, the dog it's just amazing it is amazing and and he did some other training that yeah. day I, I guess he it wasn't was just uh, apprehension they also did uh, narcotics detection um, obviously down at the marinas and on boats there are different scents the dogs have to get used to different scenarios to different situations um, I was talking to the handler here and he was saying you know they'd be they'd be stupid not to expect narcotics to be brought in by boat Right. Um, it's not something they see. It's not like a common situation, but the dog needs to be uh, prepared for that situation. You know, uh, you did the thing with Canine Brune uh, <laughs> as well in Wicomico County, and you know, we, I've been around Canine Brune, and he's just so sweet and so gentle. But I tell you, they they got work to do. Right? When that dog jumped off that boat at me, it was like a <laughs> missile. Okay, that's, I'm just gonna—he's coming at me, and I was just like, "Okay, can I can I change my mind, JC? Can we not <laughs> can do I this, doing this please?" Now. But that's really You know, cool. we see a lot of support from the community, and of course, in the departments, uh, when the, when they lose a dog, mm -hmm. um, that bond between the dog and their handler is really tight, isn't it? It is. I mean, they take the dogs home with them. I, I, they live with them. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it's a it's, it's a, a partner. it's a partnership it's a friendship and it's just i can't imagine that i mean right. losing a family dog is hard mm -hmm. but when you go to work you leave the dog at home in this situation the officers work with the dogs they bring them home it's just around all the time it's a really cool partnership. Well, thanks for doing that. Yeah, no kidding. I, I know that fun. you, even though you're a little apprehensive, you really enjoyed oh, yeah. doing of that. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's, yeah. now I'm done. I'm like, big deal. All right. <laughs> no Let's problem. see you do it in the wintertime <laughs> no now. Okay.